All right, let's search this. What's this? This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Her GPA was outstanding. Optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Wheels on Wheels program was acknowledged by the news. She was a sip of vague and refused to talk further with me. At present time, there's a security investigation into a controversial video featuring her at a Vortex Club party. Huh. Only two more files to go. I certainly can't use this. Ugh, old crappy books. Can't see shit over here. What's this? It looks like an oil paintings bill. Awful. Huh. Look at this pile. A lot of files. Tumbleweeds. I guess being a bully is in the Prescott DNA. Really? Principal Wells, it's come to my attention the Prescott family crest has been removed from the library wall for no apparent reason. This local historical crest is required as per the donation terms to the library. Our donation will be rescinded, among others for the school. Along with that, I understand the tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause. I would suggest that canceling Thursday's party is not conductive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. What a piece of shit. <clears throat> That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Ah, as principal of Blackwell Academy, it's my glad, happy, and fortunate duty to inform you your petition to block the installation of a new surveillance system has received enough signatures for the school to reject the plan. Ah. I did recognize the controversial nature of these cameras and shared your concern for possible invasions of privacy. There's not going to be a security system anymore. Wow. You're not so tacky up close. Browser. This will so not come in handy. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. You got whiskey hidden over there, or bourbon or something. And nothing here. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Hmm. She's a quintessential student. She excels in all of her studies and extracurricular activities. Everyone likes her. This is Lieutenant Chris Rossi. Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed. We always hope for that one magic clue that will be found, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. Huh. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. She's problematic, despite best effort. She has little homework, often willingly belligerent to her teachers, caused numerous class disruptions, inappropriate comments, and rude gestures. She's suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Yeah, she chooses to squander her, her intelligence on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. And they expelled her. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Nathan Prescott continues his family's historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. It's probably bullshit. I think like I'm not. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. Ah. Victoria. A gold standard for Blackwell Academy. Consistently high GPA, extracurricular activities, goals in photography, blah, blah, blah. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Warren is considered an exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence. He has the gift or curse of gab, depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is not confirmed by science teacher Ms. Grant. We hope Warren focuses his academic vision and continues towards a bright future. Huh. Well, there you go. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Huh. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? 
The Prescotts always get their money's worth. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. What the fuck? Over and over. That's it. What is it? It's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Huh. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. Ha <laughs> ha! the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Huh? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Stealing the or handicap fund, the yes. For yourself. I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. First of all, here's what I have to think about this. First of all, who would leave $5,000 in a desk like that? Out of, you know what I mean? You wouldn't put it in a safe, you wouldn't take it home with you. You would leave $5,000 in your drawer. What if the school burned down tomorrow? Now the handicap fund is missing. So that was incredibly irresponsible of the principal to leave that, all right? Now, we do know that if she takes the money, hopefully that'll help with Frank. Then again, we don't know. Frank just seems like an asshole anyway. Now, we're going to do the right thing. We're going to say leave, leave the money. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but... I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Uh. Let's get the hell out of this office, Morg. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. Expunged record. Nathan was sent. Ah, look at this. Nathan Prescott has disrupted various classes over the past month due to repeated warnings and leniency. Look at that. He was sent back to his dormitory for the day without a proper write up for his files. Nathan has enormous potential, but also erratic behavior patterns that may need supervision. And then, expunged record. Dear Principal Wells, we received a rather outrageous and possibly slanderous letter from someone in administration accusing Nathan of uncharacteristic or erratic behavior. We're certain this was to be a mistake, otherwise we fear that we will take Nathan out of Blackwell to a more prestigious and better funded institution. What the fuck? Here's all his incidents. Throwing a desk in class, cursing at his English teacher, lighting firecrackers in the bathroom, which he didn't. He fired a gun, remember? Stealing school supplies, threatening the school custodian, and attempting theft campus of a Tabanga statue. What the fuck? David Madsen and Nathan Prescott have both come to my office to warn me that Rachel Amber has been a drug mule. Acting in front of, uh, for a local dealer. I told David I would need more concrete proof. I was surprised to get an unscheduled visit from Rachel Amber. She seemed quite upset and claimed that David Madsen was following her and taking photographs. David would deny this, and given the questionable company Rachel has been keeping, I'm not certain I can believe her right now. What the hell? Huh. Alright, let's get out of here. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. 
Did you actually just say Hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. This is incredibly stupid. We're gonna try to swim. Yup, incredibly stupid. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls night <clears throat> out, so I better follow her evil plan. <clears throat> More trophies. So odd. <clears throat> what the hell? Look at that. There's a little happy face or a little face drawn on the on the vending machine. I would love a soda, but I just get wired. Which is what you need right now because you're going to commit a crime. I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. Lost goggles. I hope the others will survive. <clears throat> If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat pics. Stolen backpack with school books and the new tablet. She has private pics of her late cat. Aww. All right, are we just talking to her, I guess? Yeah. <clears throat> Boys or girls? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Boys locker room. Boys, of course. No. Figures. Perv. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Drunk guy inside. Where am I? I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. Logan's locker. I guess I should consider this evolution. Dana, I know I'm an asshole, but I still care about you. Love Logan. <clears throat> why is there? Why is that note in his locker? <clears throat> he's writing love notes to himself, and he's not delivering them. Sometimes. <clears throat> No worries, it's all bad. Ooh, sex boys me up! Is right. It's right, they wrote that in there. One of the boys wants to be sexed up. By other boys, apparently, because he wrote it in the boys' locker room. That's nice. Boy, I want to sex you up! This must be for training kids. Floaties? Yeah, little floaties. No way am I touching Zach's jersey. It smells like shit. A cell phone. Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? To Victoria Chase. Hey, I'm thinking bad things about you. Cool. What are you wearing? Just my crystal necklace and phone. Ha. What are you wearing? I'm in the locker room, only wearing a jersey, sitting on my football. What? I'm sitting on my football? What? He was naked, except for his jersey, sitting on his football. Why would you sit on your football? Some poor hipster lost their vape. My vape! My fucking vape! Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. <laughs> but why? Because he likes it. He likes you, dummy. Girl, I'm gonna sex you up. Wait, actually, boy. Oh, yeah! Here we go. Huh, it's nice to know <clears throat> Victoria loves something besides herself. Got that D. Welcome to 1950. You are a feminazi. I agree. I bet you do. Warren Gayrum? I love Warren Gayrum. That's nice. Oh no! Dana needs a baby daddy, and it's the fucking forever alone face. Oh, come on. This one is almost empty. The guys must like their pink goo. It's called lube, honey. It's called lube. Max Caulfield, moral avenger. Or self-righteous hypocrite. 69 Reese's to bang bros Rachel. Will be bros. That's right. I 
I don't think anybody has ever drowned here. I hope. In case I run out of air, I know where to come. All right, oxygen. Look what the oxygen tank is. What's it here? Look at this. Yes, we get it. Otters. Rescue dummies. Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. Now I have the power over light and death. Ha ha. So, the big plan is, <laughs> win. Wow. Such motivation. Much strategy. Wow. Pumpkin. Aw, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. Baby? It's pretty big. It's a standard pumpkin size. What are you talking about? Aha, uh -huh, girl's locker room. Time. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> you wish, Max. You just look like a snoop. Ooh, pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own soap. What's wrong with pink goo? This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. Victoria Chase rules. What the fuck? Who would write that? Rachel abides. I hope so, friend. What does that even mean? Dear Kate, I don't care, Miracle God. To save Kate would have been nice. What the hell? Brooke's locker. Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Huh. Where does that other sock go? A stinky sock left behind. T-shirts. Those are some musty-ass old shirts. Yuck. Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. What? Uh, I hate to tell you, but they don't have good towels at, at high school locker rooms. <laughs> Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? Maybe. Maybe. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. Even though she hates her, she recognizes she has artistic quality. Yes. Oh, otters eat beavers. Delicious. The wit. It burns. A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? A trip to Portland? Really? This is interesting. Hmm. Why the hell did she buy it two months in advance? It was for December 31st. Oh no, expires December 31st. Never mind. Huh. That might be a significant piece of evidence. <clears throat> okay, well. We now checked out both locker rooms. What the hell? She's in her underwear. I don't need to see that. Let's keep looking around. I'm gonna double check quickly to make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't think I did. Right? I checked out the urinals. I checked out the stalls. What's this? I guess I should consider this. Yeah, I checked this out. Jack, yeah, I checked all these out. Warren's locker, I did that.
Nathan's locker? It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? Oh, wait, that's Nathan's locker. He's got all kinds of drugs inside. Oh, shit. Nathan's popping pills like crazy. Oh, we did all that. What else? There gotta be more stuff to look at. Let's keep looking around. Lifeguard chair. A pool toy. Of course, they always have pool toys at high school Just pools. when I thought it was safe to go back in the water. A fake shark. Calming music. La 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 Oh, guest list. Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions, decisions. Remove names. Oh, I'm sorry. Your names are not on the list. You'll have to eat shit now. Whose name did she take off the list? She took someone's name off the Vortex Club list. That's weird. I wonder whose name she erased. Huh. That's interesting. I definitely could have missed that if I didn't search everything, so... Huh. What else do we got around here? Oh, just a rope. I think that might be it. I don't see much else. Just Chloe, right? Alright, I guess we gotta talk to Chloe and we're going to go skitty dipping. Oh boy. <laughs> 